But uh, what they do is, on the other hand, okay, they commit all crimes, they commit all sins, and finally, to avoid a punishment in hell, okay, they try to appease God by giving this, by giving that, and other things, and uh, try to bribe Him and get out of this hell. So all these things are uh, irrational, irrelevant, and without any proof. Forget about that. But here Veda also speaks of Swarga. Now this Swarga, what this uh, Veda say, it is not the Puranic heaven or not the Puranic hell. Then how do you understand this? According to the Vedas, Swarga is not a place. Swarga is a condition. Swarga is a state. If I am in a particular state, I experience something and that is Swarga. Or if I am in a different state, I experience something and that is the hell. So whether it is heaven or hell, it is just a state of mind, a state of soul and not a place. You cannot show a place and say this is heaven. You cannot show a place and say this is hell. No. In what condition our souls are, depending upon that condition, we say it is in Swarga or it is in Naraka. So they, they are not places, but they are the condition or status of the soul. I have to be very clear about that. So here the defining like that, let them our parents, our elders, and let our children, grandchildren, let them all be in a state of Swarga. A state of Swarga. So, Swarga doesn't mean place. I repeat again and again because we are given to understand or brainwashed by Puranas that Swarga and Naraka is there after death. So, I want every one of us to get out of that brainwashing. Hmm. It's a state, it's a condition. If you are in a particular condition, yes, that is heaven. If you are in a different condition, that is hell. It is a state of mind. It is a state of mind, not a place. So in that state, I would like to see, or we shall li we like to see our elders and youngsters. Now, what is that state? And how do we get into that state? For that, the remaining uh, first three lines are there. Yatra, in that place, where, in that place where, so and so, so and so, so and so, some points are there. In that heaven, we want to see our elders and youngsters. So, what is that condition? That place where, number one, Suhardaha. Suhardaha. Hardaha is something related to heart. Su means something auspicious. Suhardaha. Where? The heart is auspicious, where the heart is broad. Heart means it's not physical heart they are speaking of. It's not the physical heart because if the physical heart is enlarged, it's a diseased condition. <laughs> so we are not speaking of that physical heart. Heart means the essence, the essence. So the essence of our life, if it is so auspicious, we think right, we talk right, we do right. So then it is Suhardaha. Another meaning for Suhardaha is uh, compassion. Compassion. Sauhardha we call it. Sauhardha, Sahrudaya. These are the different words what you use. Sauhardha, Sahrudaya. Sahrudaya. That means compassion. We should be in a position to understand the feelings of others. That is compassion. Feelings of others. Maybe of uh, happiness, maybe of sorrow, whatever it is. But the feelings of others, we should be able to understand. Compassion, we can also call it as empathy. Fine, excellent. When you are able to understand the feelings of others, yes, our relationship with them will be very cordial and harmonious. Otherwise, whatever I feel, whatever I think is right, I will be putting it on others. I will be forcing others to understand it. But I will not be in a position to understand others' feelings. To understand others' feelings is Sahridaya. Suhardha and Sauhardha. From that we get the abstract term Sauhardha. That means cooperation. 
friendly nature. Totally, suhardaha means a kind heart, broad mind, cooperation, and understanding the feelings of our fellow beings. All that comes under the word suhardaha. So where people are like this, where people are compassionate, where people are friendly, where people are cooperative, where people think always auspicious, positive things, right things, talk right things and positive things, and do right work and positive work. Number one, Suhardha. Sukruto Madanti. Sukruto Madanti. Krita is what they do. Krita is what they do. Dukri Karane is a root. Sukrataha, they do always good things. They do always right things. Fourth class, fourth main of Fourth, third month. Third and fourth month comes out. Allah, I do clinic, Ashwini clinic. Ashwini clinic, fourth main. Fourth main, I do say. I do say. I do say. I do say. Sukrutaha. Sukrutaha means those who do good things. It's not just they do good things. Madanti. Madhi Harshe is a root. Madhi Harshe. They enjoy doing good things. It's not just doing good things. Because certain people do good things. But they are not able to enjoy it. They do it mechanically. But it's not like that. It's well thought over and they enjoy doing good deeds. Sukruto Madanti. That condition where number one, Suhardha. Huh? Number two, Sukruto Madanti. Sukruto Madanti. That is, they do good jobs, they do utilitarian jobs, they do altruistic jobs, and they enjoy it. It's not that they just do it, but they enjoy doing it. Sukruto Madanti. Swayaha Tanvaha. Swayaha Tanvaha. Their bodies, physical bodies. Their Sharira. Vihaya Rogam is free from diseases. Their Sharira is free from diseases. They are quite healthy, hale and healthy. That's the third point. Suhardaha, number one. Sukruto Madanti, number two. Tanvaha Swayaha Rogam Vihaya. Hmm. Or Vihaya Rogam, without diseases. Number three. Then, Ashtrona. Ashtrona. Ashtrona means without crookedness. Without crookedness. That is, their minds are transparent, their minds straight, their minds are compassionate. No crookedness, no crookedness. They are straight, honest. Ashtrona. That is, fourth point. Fifth point. Angai akhritaha. Angai akhritaha. Without any deformity in their Sharira Indriya Manas. Without any deformity in Sharira Indriya Manas. Angai Akhritaha. They are not handicapped. All their Sharira Indriya Manas work, function properly. Ashtrona Angai Akhritaha. In that state of heaven, we want to see our elders, we want to see our youngsters. Sargeta Tra Pashema Pitra Ucha That is our wish. 
but just by wish nothing will happen so what you have to do is where to wish and work for it only when we work for it we can achieve it mere wish will not help wish has to be supported by action swargi tatra pashema pitarau cha putran so this is what uh, the mantra says now we shall go a little deep into it a little deep into it when the soul will be in a state of bliss when the soul will be in a state of bliss so the state of bliss is what we are calling it as swarga that is heaven when it will be in that state i repeat once again that swarga is not a place it is a state it is a state of the soul so if the soul has to be in that state if it has to experience that state hmm. to unis without the birth and death cycle if the soul is out of birth and death cycle yes it will be in a state of bliss that is moksha mukti salvation nirvana whatever you call it that's one thing while in the body also it can experience that bliss but there is a slight difference between the, the bliss in the mukti sthiti and by in the body sharira indriya manas now this what they are calling it as swarga that state of soul while it is in sharira indriya manas that condition they are calling it as swarga so i got swarga we have got mukti mukti is superior swarga is not so superior it is one step less than that now this we can achieve while we are living swarga we can experience swarga we can keep our soul in that status provided we work for it so that is one mukti is ultimate just before that while in the body while in the birth and death cycle the highest place the highest condition the highest state that we can be in is swarga and it is not after death that i stress again and again it is while we are living we can experience either swarga or we can experience naraka okay now to for that we have to work i told you that is the body will be uh, sorry the soul will be in sharira indriya manas and as long as the relationship between sharira indriya manas and the soul is perfect that state can be reached very easily and between the two the soul and the sharira indriya manas soul is superior and sharira indriya manas is to be under its control it's a tool for the atma it's a tool for the soul it's a tool for the satchit so as long as the tool is the tool is honed is in perfect condition the whole situation will not be comfortable if the tool is in perfect condition if the tool is employed usefully employed purposefully yes we get the results that's what exactly they tell now sharira indriya manas sharira should be geared up to do all good things and for doing those good things the soul should enjoy it sukrito madanti we do many things but most of the time we do it by force most of the time we do certain things by coercion and finally say okay this is my karma i have to do it now it's not with that attitude the attitude here is i enjoy what i do 100% i enjoy where there is enjoyment where there is concentration where there is dedication where there is commitment so whatever things we do it has to be with commitment and dedication and love then you can enjoy so whatever you do please do it with love dedication commitment that's what is given then you will reach such a state that is the soul will reach such a state where it will be very comfortable and it's a state of heavenly being so that's it then we should love everyone we should love everyone where there is love where there is an environment of love yes we will experience comfort where there is hatred yes you will be under constant pressure 
constant frustration, constant desperation. No, that is not the state of Swarga. That is not the state of heaven. The state of heaven is one where we are comfortable. And that comfort will be possible only in an environment where it is there. So the environment where we live, we have to make it friendly, we have to make it cooperative, we have to make it loving. Then the whole environment where we are will be very comfortable and very pleasing. And relationship with all other fellow beings in such a condition will be wonderful. Because it's all love, cooperation, coexistence. That we have to achieve and it should all start from us. We should extend friendship, we should extend compassion, we should extend love. When we do all these things, yes, automatically others also will reciprocate and are able to create a harmonious environment. And this harmonious environment is what is referred to as Swarga. And where there is disease, Sharira, Indriya, Manas, all the three, if there is some diseased condition in one of these, Sharira, or Indriya, or Manas, then it is not comfortable. Because we suffer, we experience pain, we experience failure, we experience all sorts of stress. Now, Sharira, Indriya, Manas, if it does its functions properly, without any hindrance, Yes, they are all in a comfortable position and the tooth is very well usable by the soul. That is, Vihaya Rogam Tanvaswayaha. Bodily ailments should not be there. Bodily diseases should not be there. All the senses, all the organs of the body should be functioning properly. That is a condition of health. And if this condition of health is there, yes, we are in Swarga. The very experience of a healthy condition itself is Swarga. The diseased condition is Naraka. For some reason, if the organs are not functioning properly, if there is some under-functioning or over-functioning, hyperactive or hypoactive, whatever it could be, then we experience discomfort and the discomfort is Naraka. Ashtrona, cricket, so it speaks of the nature of the mind, the way the mind works. Of course, the one who makes it work is the soul. The soul has to use the mind to work in a straight way, right royal way, transparent way. We are not hiding anything because I am doing good. I am thinking good, I am talking good, I am doing good. Why I should be afraid? Why I have to hide it? It is only a thief who has to hide. It is only a person who thinks bad, who thinks ill of others, has to hide his thinking. But not a person who is honest and loving. I am honest and loving. There is no need for me to hide anything. Transparent. Because my thinking is straight, I love everyone, I want everyone to be happy. Of course, I also want to be happy. Lead a happy life, make others also lead a happy life. I do what best I can. That is Ashlona. Straight. Simple. Simplicity and straightforwardness go together. Angai Rashtrataha. We should not be handicapped. We should not have any defects in our organs. All organs should be functioning to their best capability, their best efficiency. Now in that state we will be very comfortable and happy. And that happy and comfortable position is what they are calling it as Farka. Not to be searched somewhere, it is not a place, it is not after death, it is while we are living. So in such a Swarga, in such a heaven, we want to see ourselves, we want to see our elders, we want to see our children, our youngsters. We want everyone to experience a state of soul. We are for it. Swarge Tatra Pashema 
पितरौ च पुत्र पितरौ एल्डर्स पुत्र यंगर पीपल एंगस्टर्स शर्मा यू वांट एवरी वन टू एक्सपीरियंस यस प्लीज हां सॉरी वन क्वेश्चन दिस स्वर्ग एंड नरक टू द वर्ड्स हैव अ रूट फॉर दैट हां यस वी हैव गॉट दैट इज kaha is a state of happiness akaha is a state of unhappiness na akaha that becomes naraka that is once again back to a state of happiness that is two negatives has made one positive then at the same time swargaha na swaha me ha uh, kaha is state of happiness yes akaha, akaha uh, was it state of na akaha once again opposite opposite of opposite na ahaka na uh, akaha is state of unhappiness akaha where in that state of unhappiness a person is it that is narakaha oh naha akaha fast ah. our our state ah, state okay. where we living which is akaha which is not kaha then swargaha swaha is ananda gaha is gamalra gatav so that state of happiness where we get in that is swargaha uh, can you tell that again sharma ji swaha 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 means happiness ah. swaha is happiness swaha is bliss to that move that is swargaha swaha gaha gaha is uh, gamalra gatav the state to which we move the state to which we move and that state is the state of bliss so it is swargaha that uh, naraka ka is uh, state of happiness aka is opposite that uh, naha that is from uh, sat actually naha it is uh, nara narati narati is the verbal form dr naye dr naye is a root dr dr ha huh? dr dr na and swara r dr naye dr naye naye means to carry to carry to reach that dr naye becomes nar then akaha akaha is a state of unhappiness a state of discomfort so we are taken to a state of discomfort so it is called as naraka it is nr naye asto it is nr naye and it is not uh, naha naha is uh, ourselves it is not ourselves it is naye that we are taken to we are taken to a state of discomfort therefore it is called as naraka nr naye so it's very clear that swargar naraka is not a place but a state so we have achieved that state once we achieve that state yes we can be comfortable we can be happy and we want everyone to be in that state our elders our youngsters and our sons now this pitaravucha putran it gives us a homely touch it gives a homely touch either our elders or parents children so this swarga is possible to be achieved only in a family and a very family is a building block of the whole society and the world so if families are good if families are strong yes the society will be strong if every family achieves it cannot be achieved by one single person all the members of the family with cooperation they have to achieve this to achieve this yes they can also be happy and make the whole society also happy that point is also there in this it's in the background of a family in the background of a family and families are the building blocks of society and not individuals because we do have individuals we do have communities where i got individuals and this uh, family concept is not there but there you cannot experience all this 
say it is just like a hostel where individuals live. Hostel where individuals live is different and where individuals join and become part of a family is different. So in the background of a family only we can experience this, we can expect this. So being in a state of heaven is in the background of a family. Because all our requirements will be satisfied in a family in a healthy way. Individual can stay together, but all our requirements will not be satisfied when it's a group of individuals. It's only in a family we can experience all these things. The school of thought which supports a family unit is the basis for this Swaswarga. It gives a psychological support. A family gives a psychological support. Even though individuals can give support to other individuals, the support given by a family is very, very valuable and supreme, superior. Yatra Suhartaha Sukrito Madanti Vihaya Rogam Tanvaha Swayaha Ashlona Angai Rakhrutaha Svarge Tatra Pashema Vitara Ucha Putran Atharva 6.120.3 Uttama Okay, next. Huve 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 who way? No shakram. Who way? No shakram. Puruhutam. Puruhutam. Indram. Puruhutam. Indram. Rigveda 7.86.1. Seven point eight six point one. So the prose order of it is Shukram Puruhutam Indram no Hue. Hue is the verb. Hue. Shukram or Shakram? Shukram. Shakram, Shakram. Huh. Shakram, Shakram, Puruhutam Indram. No, Hue. Hue is I call, I pray, I worship. I call, I pray, I worship. Shakram, Shakra, Puruhutam, Puruhuta, Indram, Indram. No, only that. No is emphasis. Only that. Only Shakra, only Puruhuta, only Indra, I worship, I pray, I call, I adore, whatever you want. Now here the Shakra, Puruhuta, Indra, they all refer to that Sachidananda. So our prayers, our offerings, our worship, our reverence is always to that Sachidananda. That Sachinanda is called by hundreds of names. Here in this piece, we are seeing three. Shakram, Puruhotam, Indram. So that Sachinanda, which is Shakra, which is Puruhuta, which is Indra, and only that Sachinanda, who I worship, I adore, I rever, I pray. So, some more details of this, you shall see in the next class. Today, we have gone through one full mantra. Okay, sure. So, it should be fine if it is possible for you to memorize the mantra and understand the meaning of each word. And whenever you want, you can be just chanting it. So when you chant it, we get a lot of uh, insight hmm. into the life. So particularly, that swarga, that hmm. swarga point. Master. So, whenever you are in a state of discomfort, 
okay we chant this mantra and look at it from a positive side and trying to change the environment where we are hmm. so that it becomes comfortable so we are changing what should be there one is sukhruda other one is sukrito madanti that is how to enjoy what you are doing the state of discomfort is because i am not enjoying my work hmm. there is no job satisfaction so if i go for job satisfaction it will be wonderful and there will be some disturbance in my sharira indriya manas sadhi right it yes think straight that there will be no crookedness definitely all the discomfort we experience will get out and will be this is hmm. that's what the mantra says hmm. so it's fine that we memorize it understand the meaning of it and apply it in life yes. it's not just me teaching you something and you just listening to it it's not that while teaching i will be telling my own self or you doing it you are telling so many things hmm. so it's this time for me to introspect hmm. while i teach you so i introspect and wherever i go wrong i try to change myself i try to transform myself and the same thing happens for you also yes the whole class is purposeful and the whole life becomes simple and easier and happier satyam okay thank satyam. you very much